Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. It is Thursday, my dudes. So first off, we're still here. The um, horrific weather that went through the south yesterday, through like Texas and Louisiana and here into the panhandle of Florida, somehow skirted us. I don't even know how this happened because I was watching all of the weather stuff for the longest time. I, I was like obsessed with it for a few hours yesterday, just kind of worried about everything because everything looked red and orange. You know what I'm saying? Not yellow and green. Yellow and green is the okay stuff. The red and orange is the scary stuff on radars. And so I'm watching it and it looks like it's just going to send all just like a barrage of shit our way, basically. And we're, we're at home. The kid got out two hours early. I told you guys we picked her up at 1.30. We came straight home by the time. So, so we get the kid and we go to go home and we go the way we normally go. And out of nowhere, we go around this bend and all you see are flashing lights. You see fire trucks and police officers everywhere. The wind is going crazy and traffic is completely stopped. So we're like, mm, whip a Yui real fast, go the other way. Well, it turns out an entire um, <clears throat> power line had fallen down because of the heavy wind. It was already at like 40 miles an hour at that time. So a power line had fallen down, fallen across these lanes. So police and everybody was out there stop, you know, stopping traffic from going. Then one of the big bridges that crosses um, the water to go like in and out of Destin area, they had to close the bridge down for a while because if, it, if the wind hits 40 miles per hour, you cannot go over, I think it's the Mid Bay Bridge, you can't go over the bridge for safety reasons. So they had to shut the bridge down for a little bit. I don't know how long it stayed down though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not quite sure. But I kept waiting for just like the bottom to fall out. You know what I'm saying? And there was lightning. <laughs> we had to walk Max last night and the lightning was the kind that it was so severe it looked like just fingers through the sky and it lit up everything. And I was like, okay, well, I'd like to not be out here longer than we have to be. The thunder, the lightning, there was a little bit of sideways rain and there was a lot of wind, but it never rained really hard. It never stormed where we are. I swear it skirted, like it hit Pensacola hard, it missed us and then it like went past us to like Panama City area, maybe not Panama City, Defuniac Springs I think, and hit up there kind of hard. They had um, the news guys or the weather guys, weathermen on the, on, the, on the news talking about how there was a huge possibility for EF1, EF2 tornadoes. I don't think any touched down here. I know they did touch down in Alabama and Louisiana and Texas all got tornadoes, but here where we are in the panhandle, we got spared. But then now, like right now today, it's in the storm has hit central Florida and Sarah, you guys know Sarah over here, we talk about her all the time. She lives in Ocala and I think she was saying they were under tornado warnings. That always confuses me. Tornado warning, tornado watch. To me, if there's a warning, it's because it's there right? And if, if it's a watch, you should be looking out for it because it's possible. But I think it goes the other way. And I can never remember, which is not very safe for me if I don't know which is which. And they're like, hey, tornado watch. And I'm like, cool, I'll look for it. And then it's like, no, 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 ma'am, get out because there's a tornado on the way. I think warning means it has been spotted. Watch means that it's possible. I don't know. I could Google it. I have a computer in front of me, but mm, too easy. So um, that's that. The wind today has been between 20 and 30 miles per hour all day long all day long. Lots of wind. It's a little, I've, it's given me a headache because we were driving around with the windows down and I swear I'd be driving and out of nowhere the wind like smacks me across the side of my face and in my ear, which explains why now I have a headache and I'm working on the itty bitty dizzy thing again because of all the wind and the, the movement today. Um, so that's that. I just wanted to give you guys a head, uh, not a heads up, but let you know that we are good. We are safe. Nothing bad transpired over here. It was better that they released the kids early because better safe than sorry. Plus, it's not like they can say everybody else in the county go, but you know, you right here in the middle, y'all stay till regular time. So they did what they had to do for the majority, the group of people. And I personally appreciate it. So I'm actually going to make some tea, if you guys don't mind, while we uh, have our conversation because I realized I would like a little caffeine because although it wasn't really storming last night, the lightning was still, you know, lightninging which is not a word. Um, I still slept like crap and I don't know why. Some days I sleep fine. Other days it is kind of a sleep shit show. And that was yesterday. I, I just, I didn't sleep very well last night. I wish I had slept better, but I got up at 6.30 like I should. Um, well, technically I don't have to get up at 6.30. I don't have to get up. The kid doesn't even get up till 7.30. We don't leave the house till like 8.20. I don't technically have to get up at 6.30, but I feel like if I want to be able to sit and 
be a bum for an hour and drink my tea and read my book or watch something on my iPad. I need to get up an hour before mom time and wife time and business time starts. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people are like that. I don't need to boil this because I'm making green tea. So we need to put it at 195. So um, that's, I try to get up at 630. Some days I make it till seven. Some days I'm like, I'm not moving till 730, but I'm going to make myself some breakfast blend tea black tea this one's from whole foods so this one's there's 20 of these in here it was like 4.79 at target i get the tazo brand of the english awake breakfast or something like that but there's only 16 of those or four, 16 of those for 3.89 i feel like this is a better deal i know it's only a few more bags, but I like the flavor of this one better. Cause we, I'm telling you, cause we've talked about tea a lot, but I really like this one from Whole Foods. I think it's really good. And I have been, I showed you guys before, I've been mixing my collagen in with this, which makes it, you know, a beefy tea, which is weird, but it actually tastes really good in the mornings. I don't think I'm going to do the collagen right now. Where's a cup? Um, so, oh, there are, Y'all, I don't remember where anything is. It's been, it's been a day. I have so much crap up here. Let's go with the Squirrel Tribe cup because squirrel tribe so i went to record this morning let me explain to you guys what i do i drop the kid off in the mornings and then i'll go to the grocery store or something and so today i needed to go to the store but i was like let me record for squirrel tribe let me record something for, for there while i'm in the jeep you know before like the rest of the day gets started because i wanted to go ahead and get it done so i could come home make breakfast with the uh, and eat breakfast with the man and then hang out or clean or do something then go to the gym before having to get the kid from school and whatnot right so I go, to the, I go to the grocery store and I back in to record. Now, I record a lot in the same place, okay? I record a lot in the same place. And I guess there's a couple of employees at Whole Foods who recognize me because the one guy will always say, hey, he ends up parking, he parks kind of down past where I normally park to record. And um, he came out while I was recording. He doesn't ever look over at me. He just goes to his car, gets a cigarette, smokes, and then goes back inside. Well, today, this new guy, who I have not seen before, decided that he was going to come out and, and go to that same car area, same car area, to smoke a cigarette. And so he sits down next to that car to smoke a cigarette, and then he could see me inside my Jeep talking with my hands and talking to myself. Y'all met me. I do, I do a lot of this, right? Um, very animated, if you will. So I'm recording, you know, I've got my iPad and I'm blah, 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 whatever. And broski gets up from his spot, moves right in front of me across the little, you know, walk, pathway, driveway, walkway, whatever the crap onto the, on, he's still on the sidewalk and he just stands there smoking a cigarette, watching me while I record. Bro, what the hell are you looking at? Like it gives me such anxiety when people sit there and look at me which is why I can't think about the fact that y'all are watching me when I do live streams that you're all just like, hmm, you know what I mean? Because then I'd be like, uh, I don't know what to do. But this guy is sitting there. So if you saw my Squirrel Tribe video today, the news-ish one, whatever, um, you may have been like, she looks a little flustered. It's because broski is sitting there staring at me for the majority of the video. And I'm like, I don't know where to, so I'm trying not to look dead ahead. So I'm all like over here and in my lap and whatever else. And then as soon as I get done recording, he flicks out the cigarette and goes back inside. And I'm like, was that necessary? Like, were you trying to, have you watched my channel before and you know I have anxiety and you're like, let's see if I can F her up first thing in the morning. Like, why, 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 why? Uh, have y'all seen that thing on YouTube? The preacher guy's like, why, why, why? I do that all the time. But anyway, y'all know that, it's funny. So um, I get what I needed at Whole Foods, right? Except for they didn't have the liquid egg whites that I wanted, the organic cage-free liquid egg whites. They were out. So I had to go over to, that's about right. So I had to go over to Publix, right? So I go over to Publix and I had to potty. So I went over to Publix and I go inside, I use the, the potty, I tinkle, right? And somebody comes in while I'm in there, while I'm peeing, somebody else comes in and they go in the stall next to me and they use the restroom and they pull up their pants and they flush and they leave. You, you heard what I omitted there, right? I didn't omit it, they omitted it. They didn't wash their hands and I was like, oh. Ew, ma'am. I know you might not have touched anything, like might not have whatever, like sprinkled anything on your on your hands or or whatever. But ew, your pants were down. Your hands were in your genitalia area. Wash your hands. Ew, like 
Mm. So I double washed my hands and then I used my napkin to turn off everything and open the door to get out because I'm like, ma'am, your, your pee hands touch the same handle I need to touch to get out of here. I don't play that game. So I had to use the napkin to get out. So I did that. And then, so while I'm there, I got the liquid egg white things that I, that I do. Cause I like to make eggs. Look, let me show you. I also have, look, I had blueberries earlier and I flossed and I brushed my teeth before doing this because I was like, watch me smile and just be like, right. Where did he come from? Where were you hiding? I get new floss directions or something. I don't know. So I went, I got the eggs I normally get, right? Don't mind me. I'll be back in two seconds. Just hold on. So these are the eggs I've been getting at Whole Foods, right? Organic K or outdoor access. I mainly get them because they're organic. I, I like that part. Outdoor access. It's kind of, you know, not that it's not pasture raised, which I would prefer, but I'm not paying $13 for a case of, for a thing of eggs. Kiss my whole entire ass on that. That's not happening at Whole Foods or anybody else. You want organic and pasture raised? You're paying a pretty penny and we eat enough eggs that I refuse. So we go organic outdoor access, right? But what I've been doing is because I don't want to waste those. Normally I do like two whole eggs and then I do some egg whites, but before I was doing two whole eggs and then throwing away two yolks and I'm like, oh, that feels so wasteful. Why stop? So I started getting liquid egg whites. Well, they were out of them at Whole Foods. So I had to go over to Publix and I got their green wise, organic cage free. They all taste the same. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know the difference between that egg white and that egg white, but I do two of those. And then I, I pour and count to three. I go one, two, three. That's a serving in my mind. I don't know if it is or not. I don't care, but one, two, three. And that's my breakfast. I do that with like peppers and onions. And then I put it on sometimes an Eggo waffle with like, um, avocado spread, which is really just a little, those little tins of guacamole or whatever, like avocado stuff. I call it avocado toast. It's not, it's like a ghetto bougie ish wannabe avocado toast. So I do that and I have that for breakfast and I put arugula on it and it's really, really good. Right? Well then I forgot what I was going to tell you about. Okay. So, but then I eat, right? And then we went to the gym after afterwards, right? We went to the gym. Well, we took the kid lunch today. She asked if we could bring her lunch. And I was like, she never asked for lunch. We'll take her lunch today. Um, <clears throat> Cause you know, school lunch gets monotonous over time. It's the same crap all the time. So we took her lunch and then we went to the gym. And while we're at the gym, I have so many things to tell you, but first off, I want to tell you about how, while we're at the gym, I kept getting like heartburn. I've been getting like really bad heartburn, like the burning right here, which isn't heartburn. I guess it's acid reflux is really what it is. And I'm like, what the crap? Like it hurts. Y'all know what I mean? And it's been, I've been getting it more lately and I know, you know, I'm supposed to stay away from tomato based stuff. Stay away from citrus, stay away from spicy. I don't do any of that. I'm like, let me put this spicy stuff on here while I, um, on these eggs and let me have a side of citrusy orange juice. And then, you know, for shits and giggles, just eat a tomato. Like I know what to stay away from. I totally refuse to do it. I just keep eating all the same crap. And then I'm like, why does it burn so bad? Cause I'm doing it to myself. So I'm on the treadmill, 10 incline at 2.7 speed. Cause I'm trying to stay in the fat burn heart zone of like 140 ish for myself. So I'm on the treadmill and I'm like hoofing it. Right. And I'm going to get there's, I'm got these have to intertwine. So <clears throat> when we first get to the gym, okay, we walk in and there's this lady that is there a lot and the odds that she watches my channel very, very small, but if so, maybe she'll learn a lesson today. So this lady who's always in there, I don't know how to say this nicely without sounding like a complete asshole, um, but just be an asshole. So I don't, maybe it's cause I don't do it. It's not on, it's not me. It feels, I feel awkward just recording myself like huh, all the time. Like this is fine, but y'all notice I do this by myself. <clears throat> I don't do this kind of stuff in a group setting. Generally speaking, I try to very much to avoid it because I don't like all eyes on me like that. But this lady's at the gym <clears throat> and she's on the um, leg extension machine. Okay. We get there. She's on the leg extension machine. We get there. She's already sitting on it. Okay. She's on this machine. We go to the bathroom and I use the bathroom and I get my headphones set up. I pick my music. I pee. I wash my hands. I leave. I go get on a treadmill. She's still on the same leg extension. I set my treadmill up and I start walking 10 minutes later, same leg extension machine, 20 minutes later, same leg extension machine, 
30 minutes later, same leg extension machine, except for in those 30 minutes, she did one set of leg extensions. The rest of it was, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I was like, oh, like why? And it's not like it was busy. She wasn't stopping anybody from using it, except for I knew I wanted to use it. So I'm messaging the man. I'm like, I bet money she's still sitting there after 30 minutes. I don't, I don't know why. She got up at one point because something got in her eye. She wanted to go clean her eye out. And then she just came back and sat back down to do nothing. And I was very confused by it. I was like, there's literally a couch right there, ma'am. You can go sit on the couch. You could go sit in your car. You could go sit in the locker room. But she just sat on this one machine forever. And again, I sound like a raging bitch, fully understand it. But it's because I don't understand the taking up space on something when you're not doing anything with it except for using it to hold yourself up. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. That's just me, I guess. But by the time I was done, 30 minutes on the treadmill, uh, went over and I did leg presses first. Then I had to go do um, hip extension, or hip, what, hip, hip flexors abductors. I don't even know what they're called. The one where you sit down and you push out with the side of your tuchus and you're like, oh, it burns. That's what I did. And then finally, after sitting on that thing for like an hour, she got up and moved so I could go use it, which was, you know, thank you. She cleaned it. So that's a plus. So then I did that and some other stuff. But while I was on the treadmill, back to what I was talking about, while I was on the treadmill, I kept, my throat was burning and I was like, what the hell? Like I had breakfast like five hours ago. Why is this happening? And then I remembered I had a mint on the way to the gym. I'm like, was it the mint? Is it, is it the water I'm drinking? Like what is happening? Like, why is my throat on fire? Right? So I Google cause you know, Google knows everything. And I like to scare the crap out of myself with stuff. And it's like, Oh, it's acid reflux, which could be cancer. And I'm like, fucking a, are you kidding me right now? Like every single thing is could be cancer, could be cancer, could be cancer. Get you, you cough too hard and it made you sneeze. Could be cancer. Um, your, your poops a little runny, could be cancer. Your boobs hurt a little on, when it's not that time of the month, could be cancer. And I'm like, I've got to quit Googling stuff, but I did it anyway. And so this thing came up from hopkinsmedicine.org. And I realized this is actually a very good conversation to have with a lot of people, especially women, because it turns out this kind of crap affects women more than anybody because I think women stress more than men. I don't have scientific facts on that, but as the woman... I feel like I stress more than the man. He stresses over, you know, bills and taking care of the family, like protecting us, whatever. I stress over literally everything under the sun. Shit that doesn't even involve me, I stress over. I stress over every single thing all the time. I'm a walking basket, bucket, whatever of stress, right? And you can tell it just got really dark outside. It's a 1% chance of rain, but it is black outside. Like, Again, with the weather not really knowing what to do with itself. Um, also, I called the weather bipolar and somebody who happens to be bipolar got very offended by the fact that I called it bipolar. And so I'm, I am sorry. I don't mean anything by it. It's like a, it's just a, a natural way I talk. And so it's nothing negative against people with bipolar disorder, but I can see how calling the weather bipolar could make somebody who has bipolar disorder feel attacked. So I apologize and I will work very hard not to do it again. There are no promises though, because it's not on purpose. It's just unfortunately the way my brain works and my mouth and sometimes brain don't connect together. So anyway, the hell was I saying? Oh, stress. So I'm Googling all these things, right? And I'm like, why is my throat on fire? Am I dying? Is this going to kill me? Is there a hole burning in my throat? Am I going to need to have one of those things that you have after you have like tracheotomy surgeries for like cancer and stuff where you're like talking through the thing. Like what, what is happening here? I need to understand how do I fix this immediately? Cause it freaking hurts. Right? So I Google all this stuff and it's like, well, ma'am eat a banana. It helps. I'm like, Oh good. They have bananas. So I, I literally spent the last 15 minutes on the treadmill and the 30 minutes or however long of doing leg exercises, thinking about the banana that I was going to eat the second my exercises ended. So I could quit this burning in my throat. I don't know what's wrong with me. Plenty, I'm guessing. But um, so I pull up this thing. So the, from John Hopkins Medicine. And I was like, well, that's a name people know. I'll, I'll, I'll read this article. I'll listen to this article. So hopkinsmedicine.org. Um, let's see. GERD diet foods that help with acid reflux heartburn. I'm like, GERD. So that's the name for it when it's doctor diagnosed, which I haven't been diagnosed because I don't like doctors. I have self-diagnosed myself. That's redundant. I've, yep, whatever. I've diagnosed myself with GERD, whatever the crap. So GERD diet, right? According to this, 
Um, getting a case of acid reflux or heartburn once in a while isn't unusual, but some people suffer from burning discomfort, bloating, and belching almost every time they eat. I don't belch. Belching sounds like a man. I may every once in a while expel wind through my mouth, but we're not going to call that belching. That sounds vulgar. So, um, it says 20% of the population has, oh, here, here I go trying to figure out how to say a word, gastroesophageal, Nah, that sounded right. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD for short. Thank you for making it shorter. A chronic acid reflux condition that's diagnosed by a doctor. So a friend of mine, when I was in um, middle school and into beginning of high school, before we weren't friends anymore, she had acid reflux really bad, but in the way that was absolutely disgusting and would gross me out all the time because in the middle of eating, she would just throw up. I don't know if that's really how that works, but she would be eating and then she'd be like, uh, uh, and it, I don't, I don't know. She never said anything burned. All I know is that there was like a problem between getting through her mouth down to her stomach and back up and she would just throw up. And I'm like, well, I'm done eating now. Cause it's very hard to continue a meal when somebody's just puked in their plate or run out and you can hear them puking in the bathroom. It's just, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It might just be me, but I was in much better um, shape in middle school and high school when we hung out because I ate way less meals because she threw up all of hers. Thankfully, I think she got it under control or whatever, but I never knew that that was an acid reflux thing. I didn't know what the hell was wrong with this girl when I was in middle school. She just always said that that's what happened. And her mom and my mom were like besties at the time. They're still really good friends, but they never really explained what it was. So I never really knew what it was. I'm assuming it was this thing but I don't throw up for mine. It just burns like crazy and like it's painful. And I'm like, I don't know how to make this stop. And it's, it's like that kind of burning where if you eat something really spicy, how your mouth feels, but it's in your throat, it's awful. And my brain is like, you should drink milk. They say to drink milk if something is hot. Well, it turns out y'all, y'all, milk and dairy make it worse. So there's that. According to this, normally, <laughs> this is funny to me, the esophageal sphincter, I thought sphincters were your butthole. You tell me I have a butthole in my throat like this? I don't know what to do with this. My esophage esophageal, which I think is how you're supposed to say it, sphincter, the, the butthole of the esophagus, the, the, esoph the esophagus hole. I don't know what to do with this. Um, a muscular tube that lets food pass into the stomach and then cinches shut to block it from coming back up. Literally, I'm picturing, this is so gross, but I have to walk my dog. He poops. I've seen his butthole do that pucker thing. I picture my throat doing what Max's butt does and I don't want to do anything with food. I don't want to do anything where anything needs to pucker and close. I want to stay open. Just stay open. It's fine. We'll just drink everything. Do, does it still happen if you drink stuff? Like, do you, did your, did your throat butthole still pucker? <laughs> this is the weirdest conversation I think I've ever had. But anyway, let's keep going. Um, okay. It says it protects the esophagus from stomach acid. However, <laughs> If the sphincter relaxes, y'all, John Hopkins wrote this, not me. If the sphincter relaxes, your throat sphincter, food can push upward through the loosened opening and cause acid reflux. So, <laughs> it's, y'all, all I can picture is you trying to poop in your butthole going, uh-uh, and then sucking it back in, which I'm sure has happened. Turtle heads are a thing, and then there's no turtle head. So, your throat butthole... <laughs> doesn't close all the way and then things get, I don't even know what to do with this. It says diet plays a major role in controlling acid reflux symptoms and the first line of th therapy used for people with GERD, wait, diet is the first therapy, what? First line of therapy for people with GERD. I slowed it down and I made it work. So according to this, <laughs> y'all ready for this? Foods that may cause heartburn, heartburn. For those of you who don't know, and when I, when I say them, if I raise my finger, it means I eat them. Fried food, fast food, pizza, potato chips, and other processed snacks. That literally includes everything under the sun. Chili powder and pepper, fatty meats such as bacon and sausage, cheese. Other foods that can cause the same problem include tomato-based sauces, citrus fruits, chocolate. Please hold. I don't have enough hands. We're starting over. Peppermint, carbonated beverages. Every mother king thing on this list goes in my mouth down my esophagus and through my esophag esophageal sphincter, through my throat butthole <laughs> and into my stomach. So yeah, I now have to cut out 
every single one of those things. And I know that. I know fried food is bad for you. I know citrus is bad for you. And I know tomato is bad for you. So it's a really smart thing that I did when I was at Whole Foods earlier. And I was like, oh, I should get this because it's tasty. And it is a defense, you know, for vitamins. And it's only all of these different acidic things. So that's me. I'm the smart one in the, the group over here. Now, foods that help prevent acid reflux. Well, high fiber foods like whole grains, such as oatmeal, couscous, and brown rice. Well, I don't really like oatmeal unless it has a bunch of sugar in it, so that kind of puts that one out. Couscous, couscous. I don't know how to make it. Um, brown rice, I mean, I have it and I'll eat it, but I don't love it. Um, root vegetables, such as sweet potatoes, carrots, and beets. I'll kill a carrot. I love carrots. And I have sweet potatoes right over here. I have sweet potatoes right over here to make today. So fingers crossed after dinner, my throat isn't like on flaming inferno, butthole inferno. Um, then green vegetables such as asparagus, broccoli, and green beans. I eat all of those. So from now on, I have to only eat those things, okay? And then alkaline foods, uh, foods fall somewhere along the pH scale, which is an indicator of acidic levels, right? Those that have a low pH are acidic and more likely to cause reflux. So the lower the number, the more your throat butthole is gonna burn. Those with higher pH are alkaline and can help offset strong stomach acid. Alkaline foods include, look, it's burning right now, because it knows I'm talking about it. <laughs> so. My, my throat sphincter is, re, is reflexing, relaxing, and, and just mad right now. Okay, so alkaline foods include bananas, which is why I ate that banana immediately following my gym workout. Melons, not these, but like cantaloupe and honeydew and whatnots. Cauliflower, I like cauliflower. Fennel will make me shit immediately, just so we're all fully aware. I know that's TMI, but I am so allergic to fennel, it is not even funny. And nuts, cool. I love a good cashew, right? Watery foods. Eating foods that contain a lot of water can dilute and weaken stomach acids, such foods uh, as celery. I love celery. I love how it gets stuck in your teeth and how sometimes you like kind of choke on it because it doesn't like want to tear because it's like really stringy. Celery is great. Cucumber, love cucumber, especially the way I dip it in a shit ton of ranch, you know, just really pack the fat onto that really good for you vegetable. Um, lettuce, oh my gosh, love lettuce, especially with like Caesar dressing or ranch dressing or, you know, a taco on top of it. Uh, watermelon. Okay. Watermelon. I love watermelon. Broth based soups. Okay. Um, herbal tea. I don't think my green tea counts as an herbal tea. Just so we all know. Um, <clears throat> oh, I was wrong. Heartburn home remedies. Milk. Does milk help with heartburn? Milk is often thought to relieve heartburn, but you have to keep in mind that milk comes in different varieties. Whole milk with the full amount of fat, 2% fat or skim or non-fat. The fat in milk can aggravate acid reflux. You know what I don't drink? Skim milk. All it is is white water. White water. Why would you do it? My mom made me drink skim milk all the time when I was younger. White water. No. Whole milk or nothing. Maybe 2% on an off day. So milk is out for me. Ginger is another thing that helps. Also, crap myself immediately. Ginger and I does the complete opposite on me. Can't have it. Apple cider vinegar. It sounds horrible. I don't want to do it, so it doesn't really matter. Lemon water. Okay. I can lemon water, but isn't lemon citrus? Doesn't that defeat the thing where it said don't have citrus? Because lemon is citrus? Huh? John Hopkins? What are we doing here? I'm very confused on that one, but it's fine. And then it says go see a doctor. And I was like, mm, we're going to try all these other things first. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I do what I want. So that's, that's that. I have heartburn and acid reflux and an esophageal butthole that does not like the things that I put in it. <laughs> Never mind. I was about to be like, that's what she said. It depends on the lady, you know, freak in the, sh wait, what, how does that song go? Lady in the street, no, lady, lady in the street, freak in the sheets. That's something along those lines. I don't know. I'm a lady. Oh. Please hold. Okay. So the thing I told you guys that I, that I was waiting on the delivery to come in from Gymshark showed up literally yesterday. The second I stopped recording, I got another text that I had a delivery. So I want to show you what I got because did I need it? No. Was it on clearance? Yes. Will I want it? Also, yes. Will I need it in the future? Need is such a weird word. Like, I'm going to want to stay warm. I also have like 75,000 different sweatshirts already, but I decided to add to it. So here is the Gymshark bag. Oh, you can already see what it is. Don't peek. So I ordered this thing 
and again, I've never ordered from Gymshark before and I, there's reasons for it because it's such an Instagram model pushed thing that I've never done it. I wear t-shirts to the gym, like, but I want to have like specific things in the gym that I don't really wear much other places. I want to have like whatever. So I ordered this specifically for the gym. It's huge, huge. So I'm excited. He just says, I heart gym. <laughs> I love it. Gray is not my color, but it's fine. So I got this. It's a very small heart. I figured you'd heart it more, but it's fine. So I got this and then, cause it, like I said, clearance, uh -huh, because it's almost summer and that's a sweatshirt. So clearance, if it had been regular price, it'd still be sitting on the Gymshark website and in their warehouse. So then I also ordered a pair of sweatpants because also clearance, but look it, wait. Here they decided to go big with the I heart gym, one on each side. Now I ordered a medium because that was what they had left on the clearance. This is gonna be, oh, it's stretchier than I thought. Oh, thank you. I was so worried that it was gonna come in and it was just gonna be awful. And then the, the logos are on the back of your legs, not the front, so there's that. And then it's got like a little Gymshark logo in the front. So I'm super excited to wear these to the gym with the sweatshirt mm -hmm, because I heart gym. It's the only time you can say you love another man's name and it'd be okay because it sounds like Jim Halpert from The Office. I love Jim from The Office, just so we all know. I am Pam. Yeah, and Jim, I love Jim. So that's that. Just so you know, that's that. That's all I wanna to talk to you guys about. It was a lot, so thanks for hanging out with me and let me have this conversation with you about everything that was on my brain today and just blah it out to y'all. Maybe tomorrow we can try to do a live stream. I hope so. Saturday morning, we're actually gonna take a boat out of Panama City. Brand new Freedom Boat Club place. I think it's only been open a couple months. So we're gonna go Saturday morning and take a boat out. I'm really excited. We haven't been to Panama City in a while. Spring break is over, so it shouldn't be, you know, a complete just shit show. So I'm excited for that. I'll let you guys know how that goes and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't promise, but fingers crossed we can figure out a live stream or something tomorrow. But I hope you guys are having a fabulous Thursday. My Squirrel Tribe 2.0 dudes and dudettes, for those of you who don't like being called dudes, um, leave comments below. Also, I just want to thank everybody who uh, is supporting over on Patreon. I appreciate you immensely. I love you even more. And I think that's it. I will see you guys when I see you. Love you. Goodbye.